Welcome back to Five News Tonight. Now today has brought a big change for hundreds of thousands of care home residents in England. They are now allowed to leave their homes for low-risk trips without having to self-isolate on their return. What it means is being able to visit a park, go for a walk, eat at an outdoor restaurant or even visit a relative in their garden. There are, however, plenty of caveats and not everyone can feel the benefit. Our chief correspondent, Tessa Chapman, has this report. A garden centre in Surrey and a taste of freedom for these care home residents. Their first trip since the pandemic began that won't mean isolating for 14 days on return. You, you get into a routine and you um, each day sort of just ticks by and um, this has been a change and it's been lovely. It's been normal. You're like normal people again. You know, it's good fun to get, out, to get out and see the world. It's still there. While hospital visits and overnight stays will still require isolation, outdoor trips to public places or gardens are now allowed without those restrictions, as long as residents are accompanied by a carer or nominated visitor. The move comes after a long-fought campaign by relatives of care home residents like Shakila Adyaru, whose 20-year-old son is in residential care with complex needs. He'll be allowed home on Saturday, but damage has been done. It, it's regressed quite, quite badly in, in terms of we've watched Jake kind of disengage, if you like, with, with everything that's gone around. Um, our family connection, it, it, there's a huge part of that missing. Campaigners say today's change doesn't go far enough. Care homes are interpreting rules in different ways, with some still not allowing visitors. They want that right to be enshrined in law. The government says things are looking brighter. It will continue to review the restrictions on care home residents. With most now having had both vaccine doses, the roadmap is moving for them, just still in a slower gear. Tessa Chapman, Five News in Surrey. Well, I'm joined now by West End star and campaigner Ruthie Henshaw, who delivered that petition to Westminster earlier today. Ruthie, really good to have you with us on Five News tonight. Uh, and this today is a day that people such as yourself had been campaigning for, for these changes, these relaxations in care homes for their residents. Why then are you still calling for more? Why is this not the day of happiness that you were hoping for? Um, because it's a postcode lottery with the care homes, unfortunately, because it's just guidance from the government. Um, it's um, entirely up to the care homes as to whether they uh, follow that guidance or not. And there are still care homes, lots of care homes that aren't following the guidance. So you want um, this... I... Oh, so, sorry, go ahead, Ruthie, sorry. Oh, so I, I'm, I'm an essential carer for my mother, which means that I can come and go as I please. And ev we want every single person, um, every single resident to have an essential carer because it's not just about, um, you, you know, looking after my mother's physical needs. It's her mental needs. It's her. M my mother can't walk or talk. Uh, she has dementia. And the only thing that she's really responsive to now is touch and hugs. And so I read to her, I uh, rub her feet, I cuddle her, I feed her because she can't feed herself. Um, but what's happening, of course, is because, as I said, the government have only given this as guidance. Um, it's not good enough. Uh, their, their human rights are being complete. This is a human rights issue. Um, because uh, they are losing the will, some of them, to even go on. The, the loneliness and sense of isolation that they are in. I mean, if I wasn't an essential carer, um, I would be lucky to be seeing my mother once uh, a month because that's how difficult it is to get um, an appointment, uh, even in my mother's care home, who have, uh, you know, are, are pretty good about everything. Um, but what I say also is that my mother's, my mother has made a, the lights are back on in her eyes since I've been going and seeing her um, that often. And this is just something that has to happen. It needs to be law. And until the government make it law, the, the, the care homes will make up their own, you know, rules to suit them. 
you know, they've got their own fears. Ruthie, but, you, you know. Ruthie, it is absolutely amazing what you are doing for your mother. Uh, and the, argu the argument from the government would be that it's to protect people like your mother. These are the people, that the group, one of the groups most at risk from COVID. And if they um, enforce these guidance, then potentially it would mean that care homes um, won't be able to offer the kind of protection that they want to offer. Could you see that argument? No, I can't see that argument at all. Uh, my mother's had both her vaccines. I've had one of mine. I take a lateral test every single time I go in. I wear PPE. I go in directly to her room. I don't pass anybody. I don't speak, touch anybody else. Um, I'm, I'm less okay. of a risk mm. than the carer going in and out of all the rooms, um, you know, going home to husbands and children, coming home from school, okay. all that kind of thing. OK, Ruthie, it's, thank it's, you so much for talking to Five News tonight and, and good luck with your campaign. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this week, people across England are...